Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly integrate the HubSpot with your Microsoft Outlook account using Zapier. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and we're going to need to have uh, two of our accounts open for, um, as you can see, HubSpot as well as Zapier. So we're going to revisit the dashboard for Zapier later because we're going to create a new Zap that will be tied to HubSpot as well as Microsoft Outlook. So the first thing that we need to do is once we're in HubSpot, as you can see, here's what the dashboard looks like. The idea is you would want to go to the app marketplace. Now to get there, you'd want to navigate to the top right corner of your screen and click on the store icon. So it's this one right here. And you'll be met with a drop down where you would need to select app marketplace. So we're going to click on this like so. And from here, we'd want to look for Microsoft Outlook. So we can just type down Outlook like so and it's this one right here not this one not this one it's this one so when we click on it we're going to click on install application and it's going to take us to this page right here where we would need to click on install and um, the thing about this is there are times when uh, certain plugins for HubSpot will require you to um, pay to use their services but let's just click on get now and log into our Microsoft account. And once we're past that, basically authorize the um, Outlook application to integrate with your HubSpot once you've logged in. And that should be done. Now, the next step that we need to take is we need to head over to Zapier. So it's this one right here. And from here on the dashboard, you'd want to click on Create, which is found on the top left corner of the screen, and create a new Zap, like so and should take you to this page here where you get to configure this app. So um, for here, we would want to click on the trigger first. So we're going to select, we're going to have our trigger set to HubSpot because that's the platform where we want this action to happen. So we're going to click on it just like that. And the action, we're going to choose an event. We're going to choose Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. So this is the one right here. Actually, hold on. We should start with HubSpot first because this is actually uh, sequential. And the event should be set to new email event. So here it is. Now from here, we click on continue. And basically, uh, you guys can configure this to however, however you want. So whenever someone interacts with um, your page in HubSpot or tries to connect their Microsoft Outlook account to your HubSpot account, then um, this would happen. So from here, click on sign in and a new window will actually pop up asking you to integrate or connect your Zapier account to your HubSpot. So from there, you basically want to select the store or the um, website that you want to link to Zapier and click on choose account and allow it to connect. Now we're going to wait for it to load. Here we are. Okay, so there we are. So it's now connected. Now we can click on continue. And basically configure what we want the event to be. So it can be any of these um, for uh, properties. You can have it set to custom. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.